Hello and welcome to the Black Cat Bushcraft Channel. I'm Matt. Today I want to try something just a little different and complete the construction of a plow point style shelter using only a 55 gallon drum liner or garbage bag. And one rule that we have is we can use no cordage. Stick with me and we'll get started on this project. Alright, to get started, the first thing that we're going to need is a 55 gallon drum liner. And that's what I have here. This is probably a middle weight drum liner. It's decent quality. Alright, and just picked it up at a, at a bulk department store. Um, the first step is going to be we're going to need to split all the way down the long side on one side. And then we're going to need to open up across the bottom. And we're just going to use our knife to do that. And I'm going to try to cut as cleanly as I can in the process. And if you have your knife nice and sharp, it will definitely make this easier. But if you take your time, then you can really cut your, cut your drum liner in nice and neat along the creases that are already there, and that'll give you a nicer product at the end. So I'm going to finish up this work with the knife and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened up my drum liner and this is what I've got now, a large rectangular piece of plastic. You can see it's as wide as my arms are stretched out. So we have a nice rectangular cover now that we can use to construct our shelter with. Alright, so the next step in putting up this shelter is I needed a toggle. So I just got myself a little piece of green wood. It's nice and strong. And since I can't use cordage in the construction of the shelter, what I'm going to do is take one corner of my drum liner and I'm going to twist it around and around on top of itself. And what that's going to do is give me a substitute for cordage on this corner. And I'm just going to use the actual tarp itself to tie to the toggle. And I'm not going to do anything fancy in tying that. I'm just simply going to fold it over and make a half hitch in the center of the toggle. Okay, and I left myself a little extra at the end. And so what I'll do is just come back on the opposite side. Okay, so I've tied my half hitch here. I'm going to come back on the other side and just do one more half hitch. Just a regular knot. And that's plenty strong hold this to the toggle. All right, our shelter's almost ready. All we'll need now is a couple of stakes and a tree to hang it All in. right, so I went ahead and cut myself a couple of green branches. So I'll have something that I can use to make my tent stakes. I'll need three stakes. All right, if you're not sure exactly how to carve a tent stake, I have another video on my channel. I think it's titled Carving a Quick Tent Stake. And I'll give you a link for that right here if you need to see that. Okay, just to get my shelter started, I did add this ridge pole. Now this step is not necessary, but it'll help give me just a little bit of room in my shelter. Kind of keep the roof from sagging a little bit. And if it were raining hard, that would help support the shelter as well. So that's the first step that I've done here. All right, the second step is I'm gonna take my, my cover, my, my drum liner with the toggle, and I'm just going to wedge that here where the ridge pole is. And I'll give you another angle of that in just a moment. Again, the ridge pole is not 100% necessary. That's just something that I wanted to do to give myself some more room. If this was for a youth, a young person, a small person, in other words, they could probably get away without it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure you can see this. Okay, so I wanted to give you a clear view. When I stake my corners, I'm going to roll the tarp over a few times. So that way there's several layers of plastic there that I'm punching through with the stake. And that's plenty good. Right, and so that way you've got multiple layers when you pierce through with that stake, and that'll help be a little bit more reinforced. Let's get the other corner stake. Right. Roll this corner up a few times on itself. So I'm 
punching through several layers, just like before. And that should hold that in place. One more corner to go. All right, so this last corner, I'm gonna pull tight against the ridge pole, just like this. This ground's pretty soft, so it's easy to insert these stakes. And you can see that pulls everything tight at that point. All right, so I'm gonna show myself getting into this shelter. And this is definitely not ideal. It's not gonna be the most comfortable shelter for sure. But we're thinking in terms of last ditch emergency with nothing else. All right, and so this is me completely covered. I even have room for some gear right here. If I had some gear, maybe a pack or something, I could use that as a pillow and I could scrunch up in here and be able to lay down. Is it comfortable? No. But, like I said, this is last ditch, nothing else. This is something that I could use to keep myself dry in an emergency scenario. We also have to think in terms of this shelter being for youth. And so for a child, this would be a lot more roomy. This would definitely be feasible for a child. All right, so, just to show how this actually functions with an adult. All right, well, that's a quick look at how to construct an emergency shelter using only a 55 gallon drum liner and of course three stakes and a toggle. I did set this up before once without the use of this ridge pole and it was functional, but I just wasn't quite satisfied with it. So a while ago, I was trying to figure out what could I do to make this just a little more substantial. And I had this piece of deadfall already. And so I just laid it across there, set the shelter up and I'm, I'm much happier with it like this. And obviously anywhere in a woodland environment, you can always get something to use. Um, you don't have to cut something. You can just use deadfall again, or if you want, you could always cut something. Um, Obviously, again, this is not something that you're going to want to use just for fun. This is a, an emergency type situation. Um, most likely, you'll never have to use it because I'm sure, as, as I do, you'll always carry cordage with you. But it is good for us to teach the Pathfinder youth and for our youth students to know how to do this. So in a worst case scenario, without that, they have these types of techniques under their belt that they can use to improvise. I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, I look forward to coming back and talking to you again very soon with another. And until that time, I hope you'll take care. And as always, God bless. Mm -hmm.